you can guess where we're at right now and we are at the scooter section of course and when a video does very good and i had a great time filming it it's a win-win and the last walmart scooter video that we did was a hit i want to see if i can up the game get a nicer scooter to be easier to customize put some pro parts on it see if we can find the best scooter that they sell and i'm calling out a world's first a trick that i've never done that no one's ever done on a pro walmart scooter $20, $23, $27, $30, $37. Ooh, $39. That might be the most expensive scooter here. Someone used it and returned it. No bueno. Oh, <laughs> that's sick. Out of all the scooters that they sold here, this is the most expensive. That's not electric. There's other ones here, but they're all electric scoots. So this is actually pretty sick. It comes with bigger wheels too, which is right up my alley. And for 40 bucks, Mars light up kick scooter, light up wheels, height adjustable, light up stem, portable and foldable, light up deck. Oh, that's kind of cool. And recommended age five and up. It doesn't bar spin. Are you serious? What the hell? That changes the entire video. Oh man, this stupid thing won't bar spin. The reason why it won't bar spin is a cable that runs from the handlebars through the neck of the scooter to power the lights that are in the bottom of the deck. Call out a brand new trick. <laughs> and now I can't bar spin or tail whip. <sighs> but I called it out. I'm putting my pegs on here and the most that it spins is exactly where the peg stops. I give up. I can't even put back pegs on and I can't even take this wheel off. Look at this, there's no opening. This is plastic, plastic bottom cover board that's covering the entire battery, the lights, and of course, the axle to change the wheel. Oh man, oh man, I thought I would be spending more money at Walmart and which would result in more quality at Walmart. Spending more money made it worse. Can't bar spin, I can't tail whip, I have no brake, I can't put back pegs on, the deck is plastic. I had to find my old bolt for the handlebars because these handlebars weren't even bolted. The spring that was on the back, I had to rip off because that was dangerous. And a power button. $40 custom Walmart scooter. And the challenge for today is to do five tricks and a brand new trick. I called it out before we started this video. We'll be doing these five tricks that are on the screen plus hopefully do a brand new trick. Six tricks total, let's go. Scooter seems very not safe. Five tricks is what we got. No handed hang 10. Whirly. The bars keep turning on me. One trick down, four more to go. Trick number two is going to be mega spin with at least 10 spins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Come on, come on, 10. Number three is going to be a manual to 180 fakey manual. And we might have to do that one foot just because of the brake situation we got. Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> Trick number four is going to be a fakey hitchhiker. Every time I stand on the peg, the wheel turns on me. 
That hitchhiker, the wheel was facing almost 90 degrees to the right and the handlebars were straight. There's one more trick that I wanna do that I've done before. I just won't be able to do the full trick just because I can't turn the handlebars. But the last trick, I think it's called a wheelchair glide. I wanna see if I can just do a wheelchair glide and somehow manage to land it. I don't know. I have high hopes right now. I'm really depending on these big wheels, which those feel nice. But let's just see if we can hold and land a wheelchair glide. Why did that just work out so good? <laughs> that trick by itself is just really weird to land because you're landing all backwards, sit down chair kind of position. I guess that one worked out very well, even better than the easier tricks. I'm gonna sit and think right now and see if I can really come up with a new trick. This is kind of the biggest limitation I've ever had. Can't help, can't bar spin, can't basically do any of my tricks, but I do see that there's no break and the wheel is big. A big wheel, no brake. I wanna see if I can play around. Use some imagination. I feel like no matter what the limitation is, whether it's your physical limitation, your environmental limitation, or as you can see right now, the scooter setup is very limiting. There has to be a way to do something new. I got it. This is the only way that something new is going to work. See how the wheel is exposed in the back? And since it's so big, standing on it doesn't actually feel too bad. I wanna see, and this is, I mean, I hope this is possible, but I want to see if there's a way I can pick the wheel up, do a manual, and use my foot, stand on the wheel, and kind of roll it back and forth to give myself some balance and stay there for at least five seconds and figure out if I can just, I don't know what this is called. I don't know if it's scuffing or it's just like a free wheel stand, but I think this is the only way that a new trick is possible, period, is by having a big wheel, not having a brake, and, uh, I mean, the other stuff kind of makes it harder, but those two things, which usually are never the case on my regular scooter, we'll try to do that right now and see, maybe we can lock into an another trick combo just to seal the deal. <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. Very frustrating, but oh. oh, the batteries fell out. Nice. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. If you're looking for a great scooter, don't get this one. Go to the link in the description and grab an Envy scooter that's on the screen. This is the scooter I ride that's on the screen right now. Envy makes everything from entry level scooters out of the box for little people that just want to start off and are really interested in scootering. Great completes compatible with all the custom stuff, all the way up to the custom stuff. The stuff that I ride, my signature wheels, signature deck. I am done with this. If you enjoyed this, give me a like and a comment. If these Walmart videos really interest you because for me, it's more of a test. It test my skill, test my patience, and test my imagination clearly. If you guys wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe. I'm making videos every single day on the channel. Look forward to seeing you in every single one of those videos. Have the bell on, notification bell, just so that you know when I'm posting a new video, which is basically every single day. So it'd be good for you, good for me, and I appreciate you guys being here, and I'll see you in the next one.